The CBS 13 News at 10 continues. Welcome back. The California Geological Survey released official maps today pinpointing new seismic zones across California. There were 14 maps released, and one of these zones was right where the 2014 Napa earthquake happened. For more on this now, let's head over to CBS 13 meteorologist Lisa Meadows. Lisa? That's right, Christina and Tony. Basically, what this ended up doing, we knew that there was a seismic fault in the Napa Valley area, but we never knew exactly where it was until now. If it goes through your house, you may be concerned. Not knowing where fault lines lie could be a $100,000 mistake. That fault trace went right through houses. Uh, those houses were red tagged. It was very costly to rebuild those houses. Tim McCrink of the California Geological Survey is talking about the 2014 Napa earthquake and says there are ways to prevent damage like this in the future. Had we had uh, zone maps like this beforehand, they would have done the geologic investigation they would have recognized the fault trace and they would have avoided building on top of it. The California Geological Survey released new seismic hazard maps. So what do these maps mean? The purpose of the zone is to trigger that site-specific study to make sure that people aren't building in a bad spot. This is uh, the eastern trace. Any land located in the yellow boxes will have to be evaluated before building. And that could be costly. It can be in the thousands of dollars. But could save future developers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Find the hazard and don't build on it. And they use some state-of-the-art technology to do it. Photography flown by drones so you get high resolution. You can build three-dimensional models. Their greatest tool was a NASA airplane using radar rapidly scanning the area. Boy, when it pops out, look at how that red band just stops abruptly. It's returning all these points and they calculate the the ground elevation at, at very high resolution. Scientists hoping this new data will help save lives and potential seismic safety hazards before the next big quake. Part of the study was the analysis of the delta confirming very soft, fragile sediment in some of those seismic hazard zones. So much goes into this the research and stuff, but people hear earthquake and we all perk our ears up, that's for sure. A lot of research going into this, and I learned so much going out there too, so definitely steps in the right direction. Mm -hmm. all right.